Hey you, hear me out. You won't get high ticket clients for your SMMA just by watching some random YouTube video or just by reading some sort of shitty blog post. You see, you need a step-by-step -step framework and the correct system that will allow you to go and get your first line as soon as possible. And in this video, I'm going to give you all that information, those steps, that strategy, and those tactics absolutely for free. Something that people charge you $997 for. So are you ready for it? Let's get straight into the video. So today, I'm going to be showing you how you can get your first SMMA client in seven days or less. And the prerequisites for this video is that you need to be clear in your foundations. So what do I mean by this? Well, the first thing is you must understand what are you passionate about, right? Are you more passionate about, you know, AI? Are you more passionate about SMMA? What exactly is your interest, right? Because today you are fortunate enough to live in a world where you can really do a lot of things and make money through various things, right? So you need to go out and figure, are you more inclined towards digital marketing or are you more inclined towards artificial intelligence, right? And that being said, the next thing that you need to figure out is who exactly do you wish to target? This means who will be your target audience for whom you'll be doing social media marketing for or for whom you'll be running ads for or for whom you'll be uh, basically de uh, deploying various kind of AI software for, right? And then the next thing would be what kind of problem are you solving for that individual? So just to give you an example, let's say that you are passionate about uh, you know, social media marketing at paid advertisement and you select your niche as, let's say, dentist, right? And the problem that you decide to solve for dentists would be very, very specific where you help them get implant patients, right? And why implant patients? Because simply, you know, implant patients is something for which dentists earn a lot of money, they have a lot of margin. And if you go out and solve that problem by helping them get those specific implant patient client, uh, patients, right, then guess what, the dentist will pay you a lot of money as well because they themselves are making a lot of money, right? So the bigger the problem you solve, the more money you make for yourself, right? Similarly, let's say that, you know, let me just give you another example. Let's say that, you know, you are passionate about digital marketing, performance marketing, and you also happen to, you know, like plumbing, right? Or maybe you know someone in your family who is a really good plumber, right? So what you can do is you could probably select your niche as plumbers and what you can do is for problem you could really find out uh, and I know this from back in my days that plumbers have this problem at least uh, uh, you know in countries like US, New Zealand, Australia where they are more interested in getting hot water cylinder repair clients right and you can google that information again why hot water cylinder repair clients because that gives them huge margins, the plumber ends up making a lot of money, and if you can get them these specific clients and solve that problem for them, guess what? They will pay you a lot of money, right? So these are the three things that you must be really, really clear about. The next thing you must do is you must have a USP. This means how will you be different from the rest of the uh, SMMAs out there combined? So this means would you be better than them in terms of your quality? Would you be faster than them in terms of your speed? Would you be cheaper than them in terms of your pricing, right? So you need to come up with at least one differentiation factor which will allow you to actually do this successfully. The next thing would be, what would be the exact step-by-step -step solution that you will be offering to these individuals, which would be your MVP, which stands for Minimum Viable Product, right? So for instance, when let's say you're on a sales call with a dentist and you're trying to explain to them that, hey, I will solve the problem of hot water cylinder clients for you. Now, of course, the next question that that individual will ask you is, hey, how do you propose on doing that? To which you have to give them a step-by-step -step solution that, hey, step number one, we are going to be retrieving your assets like your Facebook account, your Instagram account, your ads manager, your business manager, etc., etc. Step number two, we will be writing your ad copy. We will be uh, creating your graphics, etc., etc. Step number three, we'll probably launch ads. Step four would be optimize ads. Step five would be scaling ads and the winner campaigns, etc., etc. So what is that step-by-step -step framework that you plan to present to these individuals is very, very critical. And then you must have an attractive marketing message. So what do I mean by this? Now, if you're going to go out and, you know, tell, uh, you know, let's say you're pitching these dentists and you're like, Hey, I am an SMMA. Uh, you know, I will I will help you get more patients. And they'll be like, okay, great. Everyone's pitching me that. What's different about you? 
So when you are presenting your marketing message, it needs to appear in a very, very differentiated manner. So think about this, like compare what I just explained to you right now with this new kind of marketing message. Hey, are you a dentist struggling to get implant patients? I will help you get three to five high, high ticket implant patients every single month. And if I fail to do that, you do not pay. This is a hundred percent, you know, money back guarantee. So that kind of marketing message is much more appealing as compared to just going out there and telling people, you know, I run a social media marketing agency. So you have to be really, really differentiated in that sense as well. Now, the next thing would be how much do you plan to charge these individuals for your services? Now, a simple rule of thumb that I like to give to you is think about whatever value that you can provide to the client. Let's say, you know, if you're working with a client and you are able to help them get $10,000 in a single month for whatever you are doing, right? In that case, I like to use the 10% rules. This means you should at least focus on charging 10% of that amount that you'll be generating to them. So if you make them $10,000, you should rightfully charge $1,000. And on the other hand, if you plan to to give them value worth of $100,000, you should charge $10,000. So it, it's really, you know, a proportionate to how much value you can develop uh, or generate for clients, right? And that's very, very critical. It's something you must understand. And then would, uh, comes the channel. Where do you plan to market yourself? Let's say if you pick dentists, well, exa where exactly on the internet do dentists hang out? Are there some online communities? Are there some sort of Facebook groups? Are there some sort of uh, you know, like let's say dentists are hanging out on LinkedIn, right? What's what's the medium that these individuals use, right? And then delivery would be how do you propose on delivering this solution, right? Do you plan to do the work for them? Do you plan to do it with them? Do you plan to, let's say, uh, you know, use uh, Facebook ads? Do you plan to use TikTok ads? What exactly will be your strategy, right? Now, all of this can be simply documented on this one piece document, right? One page document that I like to call as a business model canvas that you can see in front of your screen. Now, if you want more information about this, and if you want to learn how do you go about filling all these variables, and you also want an example of how I actually did this for my own agency back in the days when I was 20 years old that generated around about ten to $12,000 every single month, well, you can go and check out this free video on my YouTube channel, which I recently uploaded that explains literally how to go about filling this document. And how do you go about answering these important questions, which are basically the prerequisites that you must need in order to go and set up this SMMA, right? So that being said, the next thing, once you have figured out the basics of this, and once you have completed your business model you canvas, the next thing we highly recommend doing is focusing on the setup. So this means, you don't need a lot of things, but you do need a specific website. Why? Because see, think about this, right? When you're running any kind of online business, your website is like a business card, right? And if you don't have a website, you might look unprofessional. And as a result, it'd be difficult for people to trust who you are and what you do. So I don't recommend going all fancy about this. Just keep it simple. Create a website that's just one page and just explains literally what you do. Now, let me show you my very first website that I launched in 2016 when I got started with my SMM. So as you can see in front of your screen, it was 31st January 2016 when I launched my very first website. It's uh, super basic, right? As you can see, it just says my name, what do I do? Back in the days, in addition to running my SMMA, I used to make videos like how you're seeing right now and post it on my Udemy, YouTube, etc. So that's uh, something that really helped me you know, develop that trust with the clients. And you can also keep it simple. Doesn't need to be fancy, but point is get started with it ASAP. And you can create this website using Wix.com, WordPress.com, or any similar platform. Don't go all fancy. No need to invest thousands and thousands of dollars hiring a developer. Keep it simple and get started fast. The next thing I would recommend to you would be to use Calendly.com. And I'll talk about this in a bit, but this is a great software that will allow your prospects to book a call with you and basically talk to you whenever you desire. Google Workspace is another thing that I would recommend. You need this in order to send cold emails, something that I'll be talking about in a bit, right? Now, Google Workspace will allow you to have your own email, something like hello at rohandhavan.com rather than you using hello at gmail.com or rohan at gmail.com, right? 
it sounds a lot professional when you have a proper professional email. So get these three things, figure out your basic foundations. Again, if you don't know this, plenty your videos on my YouTube channel that will explain exactly how to go about doing that. But I'm not going to bore you with all these basic stuff because I know that you are here to get your first SMMA client in seven days or less. So let's get straight into that practical part, right? Now, it's very critical that before I teach you that this is the exact strategy that you can utilize. By the way, you know, if you watch this video till the very, very end, I'm going to be sharing that exact template with you that I used to sign my first SMMA client. And in fact, in addition to that, I'll be also sharing with you a Facebook post that my client Mahesh actually used uh, to make a post, a simple post on Facebook that I like to call as a two-step free trial post. And just by making that post, he got hundreds and hundreds of queries from clients all over the globe, Dubai, India, etc., asking him about his valuable SMMA services, right? And you can also see Mahesh's interview on my YouTube channel, uh, and he explains more about that. But without any further ado, let's just get into the mindset, my story, and the formula for success, which is something you need to hear before I talk about the tactics and the strategies, right? So quick, uh, you know, story of my how did I go about landing my first e-commerce agency client? Well, the you know, it all began with me launching that website that I literally just showed you. What happened is I just launched that website and I started sharing free valuable content on the internet. I basically used to share videos on my YouTube channel. I used to share videos on my Udemy, right? And what would these videos be about? Well, simple things of everything that I'm doing. I was documenting my journey. A big belief that a lot of people have is that you have to be really, really successful in order to launch videos, which is a big belief. Don't think about that. Just start sharing valuable content with people. And trust me, when I posted like 10, 50 videos or something like that, somebody from the US called as Vijay really sent me an email. And he's like, Rohan, I love what you're sharing with other people online. What I would like to do is I would like to work with you uh, and can you do the same for my e-commerce store? To which I replied to him, all right, let's hop on a call. We discussed and I was pretty nervous. It was my first client, but I quoted him $1,500 and to my surprise, he ended up paying me. And that was my first high ticket deal that I cracked at the age of 18 and it was wonderful, right? And then... Uh, you know, after that, I had like clients like Vijay, I was serving like 5, 10, 15 clients and things were going pretty well. In fact, I took my agency and, you know, grew it to 10 to $12,000 per month, you know, within two years, by the time I was 20 years old, which was fantastic. However, what I decided to uh, understand is like, you know, this e-commerce industry was dying, the drop shipping. Uh, you know, I just did not find that very, very authentic. And one thing that I started seeing is the Facebook CPM started rising because of which my clients started struggling to see the ROI that they desired. So guess what? I decided to leave all my clients. I decided to level up on my skills one more time. And I decided to get a proper job. When I got that job, I worked as a CMO for this company, which was the 1% group, ran all their ads, really understood delivery really understood how to fulfill clients, really understood how to work at scale, you know, because that was a seven-figure, multi-seven-figure firm. And that really allowed me to get a full in-depth understanding of this process, right? And once I was able to accumulate all that knowledge, I went out one more time and started another DFY agency of mine, which allowed me to land more high-ticket clients and eventually launched the company UAbility that I run till date, right? So the point that I'm trying to tell you is that you're a beginner and you should expect this process to be difficult. Why? Because back in the days, it was super tough for me as well. Example, just like how you are in college, you cannot expect like as a fresher, you will land a job as a CEO right after graduating from college. Similarly, you cannot expect to sign a bail client, which is $10,000 plus immediately or anything similar, right? So let go of this belief. It would not help you, right? So why do CEOs get paid more than interns? Have you thought about that? Well, it's because of their experience and wisdom, their skills, their correct beliefs, which allow them to actually make the money that they earn, right? Because you cannot offer a fresher the job of Sundar Pichai to run Google, can you, right? So similarly, in SMMA, the more you improve your experience, skills, and correct your beliefs, you develop the, be uh, you know, the, uh, the, the better your chances of you getting bail clients, right? Example, 
I used to send hundreds and hundreds of emails a day to just land a few appointments, right? But now, like I think last week I sent one email and we generated 100 appointments in a single day, right? And that takes time. That's why the formula for success that I want you to understand is that experience plus skills plus the correct beliefs multiplied by time will give you success, right? So uh, this is for those impatient people who might be watching this video and they might be like, Ron, give me that exact tactic or that exact hack within five seconds that will allow me to, you know, make like a lot of money, right? Calm down. It takes a lot of work and you must have the right kind of expectations before you start flooding the comments with, oh my God, this is so boring and I'm not getting that exact hack. Control your dopamine, right? It's very important. So since it's tough to bet on a beginner from any business owner's point of view, right? I recommend that starting with a free trial offer or charging a percentage of the sale that the business owner will generate. So what do I mean by this? Well, think about this, right? If you're just a fresher, which business owner will actually bet on you and put a lot of money to invest in whatever you are offering? Why? Because you don't have any track record. You're just a beginner, right? So that's why I recommend either doing free trial or charging a percentage of the future anticipated sales that you plan to get that business owner. And eventually, when you have enough experience, feel free to charge thousands and thousands of dollars for your expertise. But initially, be a little patient. All right. So that being said, let's now talk about the main thing that you have been waiting for, which is the exact acquisition framework, which will allow you to land your initial client as soon as possible. Well, the first tool or first technique that is my personal favorite that I like to use is to go to simplylinkedin.com, right? And you can use tools like SalesQL to basically scrape emails of business owners. Now, there are a sort of videos on my YouTube channel which literally show you, by the way, there's this one exact email which literally shows you how to go about scraping emails from LinkedIn, right? You can take emails of business owners, um, by searching, let's say you're trying to search for a dentist, go to LinkedIn, type, you know, the dentist in, let's say, and under location, let's say, select uh, California or whatever area that you're trying to target. Go to their profile, click on the sales QL extension, and you'll be able to generate their email ID. You can also do that with a personal trainer, right? And then what I want you to do is send them an email which basically says that, hey, you know, it should be a personalized email, explain to them about their accomplishments, explain to them that, uh, you know, the problems that you see in their business, and then finally tell them how you can solve that problem. And at the end, just tell them you don't plan to charge any money or you only plan to charge money post they start getting sales, right? So that the business owner is more likely to reply to you, right? And if you get no response, make sure to follow up via cold email and LinkedIn. Once they respond to you, just invite them to a discovery call, send them the contract and boom, you would be able to sign the deal, right? So let me just show you quickly the example of the cold email that I personally used to land my first client. Like this is literally the exact email that I'm about to show you, which uh, really benefited me a lot, right? So just to give you an example. So as you can see, this is the exact email that I sent to this individual, right? It was back in the days. And I said, hey, Mark, congrats on reaching over 250K students on Udemy. Now, notice this very, very carefully, right? I made this absolutely personalized as if I was writing this email exclusively for this person. And then I wrote, I noticed that you're trying to grow your brand to become the number one portal to learn programming. So I talked about their vision as well. That was mentioned on their website. Here's a game plan that I developed for you. Now, look at this. How much hard work did I put into this email? And you might be thinking, oh my God, Rohan, you know, this is like so elongated. I thought you're going to give me some bulk emailing tool that will allow me to do all this for free and faster and give me some AI stuff. Listen, all these things that you see on the internet are really gimmicks, right? If you really want to land and get some uh, land a whale, right? This guy was doing seven figures and that's how I landed him, right? So this work for me, you can go for short term tactics, but if you want like results, follow this, right? I literally made a personalized plan for him, right? Like I showed him this is the ad that we will run. This is how we will go to the website and this is how much we will charge for your course, right? And then we said, we noticed that you are running ads with 80 to 90% off coupons straight to the sales page. However, we believe you could be better off sending your traffic to the webinar that converts prospects into students that pay you one to three K per sale. Mark. You're sitting on a gold mine 
with your social channels and we help we want to help you increase your revenue and get more students in the next 45 days for free now look at that line for free right which is got which is what got his interest right this means you only pay us if we get results and if we don't then i would be more than happy to compensate you for wasting your time who says this which smma is actually saying this nobody and this automatically differentiates you from rest of the crowd please let me know when you're available by replying to the email and i would love to discuss more you can also book a time blah 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 looking forward to it and then my signature right so this is the email and then guess what happened he replied to me he said hey rohan i'm down i've done this before with great success most of our revenue comes from our website i'm willing to try it out and as you can see i just replied and as soon as he replied i basically set up something called as a discovery call we talked on the call we agreed i signed him the contract he signed it and boom we got started right so this is the exact email that you can also funnel hack right now and actually start getting a lot of clients right So some of the softwares that I use for this would be the LinkedIn scraping tools, SalesQL, something you can check out. Other email scraping tools that you can consider using would be Apollo. There's also D7 Leads Finder. Again, one simple Google search would allow you to get a lot of information about these tools. To send bulk emails, you can use something called as Yam, which stands for Yet Another Mail Merge. To book discovery calls, you can use Calendly.com. and something that i'll be sharing with you to uh, another approach that i want to talk about which is called as the second uh, framework of getting clients now this second tactic that i'm about to reveal to you honestly this worked really really well for my client mahesh allowed him to get thousands and thousands of inquiries or probably hundreds just by using one simple post and let me explain to you what it is so i told mahesh go to facebook go join relevant groups related to your niche right and then just begin sharing the value in those groups right you can just start making some posts you can start sharing uh, replying to other people's comments you can just you know without having any hidden agenda just share value kind of like how i am doing right now with you right if you are watching this video and you are gaining some sort of value do hit the like button below and share this video with your friends and family members because guess what through word of mouth that's how things grow and you have to be patient to be able to see those results and the day you understand that i think you will be very very successful right so through these groups then i recommended mahesh to go to the members tab and start adding 10 friends every single day and once you have 50 to 100 friends on your profile just start posting valuable content for 5 days or uh, this valuable content could be anything you could create a video like how i'm creating right now sharing some experience of mine you could talk about the next ai hack you could talk about the next digital marketing hack right or some hack that would really benefit your niche a lot right maybe you can share how a dentist let's say if that's your niche how they can double their sales just by you know changing their discovery call script whatever it might be start sharing value and then on the fifth day or the sixth day do something called as a free trial post right now what exactly is this two step free trial post let me just show you that quickly this is how it looks like right So this is the exact post that I literally told my age to make. Now, of course, don't copy and paste and don't lie, right? Because what I've written over here comes from like a random example that I gave to him. Use your own stuff, right? So over here, I just said, "Hello, my name is Rohan, and I have two years of experience in digital marketing by working with companies like Uber and Zomato. I recently started my own agency, and I'm looking to get five business owners who want to get more customers i want to work with you for absolutely free i want to l- deliver results before you start paying me please let me know or love to chat with you and boom one post hundreds of comments of business owners who are in your profile who are the exact target audience that you wish to actually go after and guess what they want to work with you isn't that amazing right so this is what i told mahesh to do as well again He made sure that his Facebook profile is well optimized. You can use Canva.com. Pretty basic stuff, right? So after this, he would like everyone who would comment on this post, he would direct message them and then invite them to a discovery call, send them the contract, and boom, you have your experience sorted out, right? So that being said, you might be thinking, Rohan, that's great, but what do I do after free trial? How do I get them to pay me money? Don't worry, I got your back, right? So after this I would recommend doing something called as an onboarding call walking these people through activation points helping them get minimum success right so do set the right kind of expectation don't go like 
hey mr dentist or hey niche i will help you become a millionaire in 30 days be realistic set the right kind of expectations and once that is done for example an expectation could be you would start getting 20 to 30 leads within four weeks for example right and then pitch them uh when you pitch them you can ask them for a testimonial right like hey can you record a short video explaining about your experience working with me and then you can use that testimonial to further go out post that testimonial on your profile share it with the other people out there and as a result you'll start getting more clients and similar people to that niche and now you would also have more references to provide to other people within your niche who you would reach out to you could also ask them for a referral you could say something like Hey, first name. I know that we agreed that I will charge a percentage of your sale, or I will charge you money only after you start seeing result. Do you want a ten percent discount on that? Just refer me one of your fellow other dentists, and as a result, guess what? I will give you a discount, right? Or you could just start asking them for a payment, right? And the best thing that I like to do is just ask all three, right? And trust me, when you start doing this, like for one client, you might not realize, oh my god, it's a lot. when you do it with 5 to 10 clients you will have 10 testimonials 10 more referrals and guess what you will have payment from 10 clients coming in most people don't have the patience to actually go till here but if you are able to manage to do that um you you get a lot of work right so on the onboarding call right what i want you to do is set the right kind of expectations about the journey in the next 90 days get them to sign a contract if you want the copy of a contract right i am going to literally give you that link go download this it's available in the resources section below uh get them to set up the right kind of platform and tools right i'm going to not going to walk you through this document but i literally created a document that shows you how to ask these individuals to add a facebook page add an instagram give you access to the business manager and the whole thing you can literally take this send it to your clients and boom they'll give you access to all these things get them to also complete a questionnaire so that you can understand more about their business don't start running their ads don't start doing social media marketing without really understanding about their business you can do that by asking their company name asking their passwords blah 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 study this questionnaire this is the exact stuff that i used to use back in the days and it really helped me and then book the onboarding call post that do check in calls to make sure that they can get the work done walk them through various kind of activation points that you might have for example you might repackage their offer you might launch their ads you might validate their sales process etc etc once they have seen that minimum uh, success that you promised to them ask them for a testimonial referral payment or best all three and then you can use this use the compounding feature get more clients and as a result this is how your smma will grow to the next level This is the exact strategy that I use, not just for my SMMA, but also for my UAbility. If you don't believe me, go to my YouTube channel, go to the oldest videos, see the amount of testimonials that I collected. Just because of that, I was able to become who I am today and gain the trust of people like yourself, right? So I hope this video was beneficial to you, and if you follow this video, literally you will get clients as soon as possible, right? Ron Davin here don't forget to share this video with your friends and family members especially those who are planning to start an SMMA because this is the hardest opportunity in today's time and i'll see you in the next video bye bye